Welcome to the Heroes how-to video series. This video will show you how to use the Heroes Assign feature, including when to assign reviews, how to assign a review to a Heroes user, and troubleshooting. Starting with the Heroes 11.14 release in July 2017, each review in Heroes has only one assigned user at a time, and only that assigned user can edit the review. There are several reasons for this feature. First, it improves system security and data integrity by allowing only those users with the correct privileges to make changes to the environmental review. Second, it helps prevent errors by limiting the review to only one editor at a time. Third, the assigned feature tracks the review process by recording each user who has edited the review and which reviews may be ready for HUD approval. When you start a review in Heroes, you're automatically the assigned user. This means that only the creator of the review can edit the review until it is assigned to someone else. Before anyone else can work on, review, or certify your review, you must assign it to them using the Assign button on either the dashboard or on the side menu. After you assign your review, you will not be able to edit it again until it is assigned back to you. For a typical Part 58 project, you may be an environmental review preparer for a responsible entity. When you start a review, you are automatically the assigned user. When you finish your work, you might want to assign that review to your supervisor for their review, or if you go on vacation, you might want to assign the review to a coworker. If your certifying officer uses HEROES, you would assign the review to them to complete the 701515 Request for Release of Funds and Certification. Then you would assign the review to HUD to complete the 701516 Authority to Use Grant Funds. Finally, when HUD has completed the 701516, they would assign the review back to someone from the responsible entity. You may also involve partner users such as consultants or public housing authorities in various steps of the review and assign process. For Part 50 projects, environmental review preparers might want to assign reviews to the supervisor, an approving official, or an environmental clearance officer. Part 50 reviews can also be assigned to partner users. Reviews can be passed back and forth to various users in the review process using the Assign feature. This allows for corrections to be made or for additional reviews of information by approving parties. When you're ready to assign a review, you can select the review under the Show Reviews Assigned to Me dashboard. This is the default dashboard that displays when you log into Heroes. Once you have selected the review, click on the Assign Review button at the bottom of the dashboard to navigate to the Assign Review screen. You can also access this screen from a review that is already open by selecting the Assign Review button in red at the top of the side menu. Once you are on the Assign Review screen, start by entering the first and or last name of the user to whom you want to assign the review and press the Search button. Here, I will search for Ramona Poole. Everyone meeting your search criteria, who you can assign that review to, will appear in the search results in this upper table. For each of those users, you will see their first and last names, their role, which could be HUD, responsible entity, or partner, as well as their organization, their email address, and their location. This information will help make sure you are sending the review to the correct person. Make sure to select the user you're assigning the review to, even if they are the only result. After you have selected the user, their name and information will be highlighted in a dark gray like this. The second table below shows all users who were previously the assigned user for that review. This provides a quick way to assign the review back to someone who already worked on it. You can also access the assigned review history directly from the environmental review dashboard via the button at the bottom of the screen. On Part 58 reviews, you will see a checkbox asking if you are assigning the review to HUD for purposes of submitting the 701515 Request for Release of Funds. Only select this box if you are submitting the review to HUD to process the 701515 because it will help HUD track the 701515s under review. Finally, there is a text box to provide comments. Type a note on why the review is being reassigned in the comments box. This information will be emailed to both the previous assigned user and the new assigned user, and it will be displayed on the assignment history screen as a permanent record of each user's involvement in the review. Once you've completed the screen, press the Assign button to assign the review to the selected user. 
After assigning a review, both the assignee and the assigner will receive a system-generated email. This email will be sent to the address listed in your hero's profile. If your email address changes, it is very important that you update it in your hero's profile so you can continue to receive emails. We strongly encourage you to follow up outside the system to make sure the new assignee will be in the office and to confirm the receipt of the newly assigned review. This step is especially important when assigning a review to HUD for their completion of the 7015 Authority to Use Grant Funds. The only people who can change a review assignment are the current assigned user and users with admin privileges. So, if you find that a review has been incorrectly assigned to the wrong user, or you need to change the review assignment, you will need to seek assistance from a user with admin privileges. Responsible entity users should get assistance from the admin user for the responsible entity, also known as the HERO's local administrator. HUD users should get assistance from their program environmental clearance officer or other HUD admin user. If an admin user is not available, you should submit a request through Ask a Question on the HUD Exchange website. Thank you for watching this HEROES how-to video. For more information on using HEROES, please visit the HEROES page on the HUD Exchange.